हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड पॉजिट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम एलिमेंट्री पार्टिकल्स सो व्हाट आर द मेन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन यू ऑल मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टीज वी विल जस्ट रिवाइज सो इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इज द फर्स्ट नोन एलिमेंट्री पार्टिकल इट इज डिस्कवर्ड बाय सर जे जे थॉम्सन इन एटीन it has raised mass 9.1091 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg and as all the other particles they have mass larger than that of electron we take the mass of electron as a unit of mass so suppose if i have to talk about mass of proton i will say mass of proton it is 1836 me so uh, or mass of meson it is 230 me so i will talk mass of other particles in terms of mass of electron and uh, electron it has a negative charge now what discovery of positron what is positron it is anti particle of electron in 1930 cd anderson in the united states and pms blackett in england they observed a particle which is having all the properties similar to electron except the charge that particle it was not having negative charge it was having positive charge and they named this positively charged particle which was similar to electron in all respects as positive electron or positron pm dirac in england had predicted the existence of positron in his relativistic theory of free electron now why we call positron as anti particle to the electron is it because the different terms of only charge and other properties are similar no that is not the reason dirac suggested that electron positron pair cannot be created by bombarding particles or photons of energy less than the threshold energy 2 mc square which is equal to 1.02 mev if you will take one electron in if you will calculate the energy corresponding to this electron it will be equals to mc square if you will calculate that energy that is 0.055 mev i have another electron which will be or you say positron positron will also have uh, has the same mass as that of electron so it will also have the same amount of energy 0.055 mev if i add this to energies that energy becomes 1.02 mev so whatever if you want to create electron positron pair from the Uh, by bombarding particles or photons of energy then the energy of those photons it should be greater than 1.02 mev then only pair production takes place pair production basically it is the production of electron positron pair from gamma ray now at the as at the time of passage through ordinary matter the positron may join an electron so positron and electron they may join to form a positron electron system when positron electron they join they form a state which is called as positronium electron positron they come together for a very short time and that state it is called as positronium which lasts for a measurable time before combining to produce annihilation radiation so when electron and positron they combine first they form a positronium and later on gamma they annihilate they disappear and gamma ray photon is emitted now because of this annihilation property the positron is said to be anti particle to the electron so general notion is electron and positron they have property uh, same with all respects but they differ in terms of charge that is how they are called as anti particles of each other but that is not so if one particle is one particle is said to be anti particle of another if they combine and after combining they annihilate so when electron and positron they come together they annihilate and that is how positron is said to be anti particle to the electron or electron is the anti particle to positron so here we can see the annihilation reaction electron positron they are coming together it forms a positronium state and after that you you get a gamma rays and uh, thank you thank you so much <coughs>